हेलो फ्रेंड आई एम शांतनी वेलकम टू माय क्लास वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ लेट्स लर्न ज्योग्राफी चैनल टुडे वुड बी फोकस्ड ऑन ग्लेशियर लेक आउटबर्स दैट इज द नेचुरल हैजर्ट सो लेट्स लुक इनटू इट बेसिकली व्हेन सडन रिलीज ऑफ वाटर फ्रॉम अ ग्लेशियर लेक इज कॉल्ड ग्लेशियर लेक आउटबर्स्ट and this natural phenomena that can threaten human life and cause of damage to environment and infrastructure also there is another similar term of glacial lake outburst flood that is jokulav what is jokulav jokulav is where a pool of water contained by the glacier melts and spill over the glacier and the dam can consist of the glacier ice or moraine in the terminal so basically a glacial lake is a sudden release of water from a lake that feeded by glacier melt and from definition we can identify the three features of it there are three features or three characteristics of glacial lake outburst one is it one is it involves the sudden release of water and before uh, i explain the definition i have already said that the sudden release of water so they involve the sudden releases of water they tend to be rapid even lasting hour to two days it can be lasted hour within hour or it can be lasted for two days or days day to days and the result in the large downstream of river discharges next how the glacier lake outburst floods formed globes impounded by the moraine complexes in the next slide i would be talking about the moraine dams or moraine complexes the glacial lake outburst flood can be compounded by moraine complexes glacial ice or even bedrock as a result of breaching so failure and overtropping or the alar failure mechanism leads to catastrophic phenomena in the high mountain region that threaten people's life and the regional infrastructure here is the how moraine dams or lakes are formed see in this picture i am i am try to show that the due to the erosional process of glaciers a glacier so the sand the rocks the soil the soils ice small boulders that moves here and deposited this region they carries this debris which keeps accumulated in a place they this they carried from through here and deposited in this region over the time such moraine form natural dams and they they do, due to the deposited over the time they become this shape and in this empty place is filled up with the accumulated melting of water melting of glacier ice and over the such moraine form the natural dam and the moraine create the topographic depression that time if the topographic depression creates in which the melting water generally overtide and the melts water will accumulate in the basin until the its overflow limits crossed and such moraine lakes appear to be the most common type of glacial lake and if the lake form surface of the glacier it's known as the supra glacier lake in this picture i am try to show the various reason of glow of occurrence through the picture there are various reason one of the indirect i we can divide it the causes of uh, glacier lake outburst flood can be two way one is direct another is indirect climate change is the indirect factors of the glacier lake outburst flow floods and the direct impact or the direct reasons of the glacial lake outburst floods are the cloud burst or snow avalanches landslide melting of ice in the moraine and earthquake and outflow see the what is cloud burst cloud burst is the 
extreme amount of rainfall in a short period of time sometimes it is accompanied by the hailstorm uh, hailstorm uh, thunderstorm etc which create the massive flood in that region and if the cloud burst occur in those region due to the cloud burst the snow avalanches might be occur and so what is slow uh, snow avalanches avalanches is a rapid flow of snow down to a hill or mountain side and they moves in downward they moves in downward in this fashion along with the snowfall snow avalanches the landslide also occur and due to the landslide and uh, snow avalanches the soil rocks piece of rocks and the a small ice boulder are deposited this region and this region and and form the moraine in the, the moraine in front of this region and also lateral moraines are formed in region and and the melting of ice melting of water deposited here form the glacial lake and the glacier lake when the limit cross the, the limit of the glacier lake crossed and due to the topographical depression due to the topographical depressions and the melting of water generally overtight overtighted and the melted were accumulated melted water of the basin until seepage or overflow and the topographical depression such as the volcanic activity earthquake occur beneath the earth surface or beneath the or glacier and for this reasons are formed of the glacial lake outburst flood so what are the main causes cloud burst snow avalanches landslide melting of moraine uh, volcanic eruption of the earthquake and outflow and these are formed in the sequential order if cloud burst occurs the snow avalanches and landslide um, might be occurred occurrence and after the landslide the uh, debris uh, are deposited in front of the lake as well as the uh, side of the lake and the lateral moraine and the moraines are formed moraine dams are formed and the melting of ice deposited there and the glacial lake formed when the limit uh, when the accumulation of the melting water uh, gets over limited then they outflow and displacement of, of water as a substantial part of adjacent glacier collapse into the glacial lake and this is the causes of the glacial lake outburst and in our hindu kush himalaya moraine dams are common and there are numerous gl glacial lake outburst flood events have been traced back to the failures of moraine dam there are various events occur due to the failure of moraine dams and moraine dams lakes form due as a glacier retreats and the melting of water fill the space between the pro glacier moraine which is in front of the glaciers and the retreating glaciers in 2018 ICI MOD released a report a status where the glacier lake in the Hindu Kush Himalaya that mapped and classify more than 25000 glacier lake in five major river basins spread across the region and 8.3% of the glacier lake located in the below 4000 mean sea level what is the impact of glacial lake outburst the effect of glacier this is the natural phenomena as i earlier said and they are fact they are caused because of the climate change volcanic eruption cloud burst and so so many reasons are there and and due to these glaciers um, lake outburst the effect of uh, effect uh, effect on the there are serious effect on it and it cannot be predict predict it is very difficult to predict when this event can might be occurred but the serious affect the lives properties of this resident in that particular region downstream of communities as well as the transportation infrastructure building agriculture tourism etc and this is all about it thank you for watching please subscribe my channel share with your friend and if you like this video please like my videos and join my youtube channel and join my telegram channel that is geographia and also blog page where you can get the pre-study material about it so thank you